The other problem is the number of the people that know both the husband and the wife. Now that's what we would like to have to begin with. But if we don't have what's shared by the two circles, the second most useful piece of information is what's outside of the circles. Of those 75 people that are in that room, I know that 17 of them are down here in this corner because they don't know anybody in that room. So they're the outsiders. And you've probably been to a party like that before. Where do we go now? So here's the husband circle, and we know there's 28 people in that circle somewhere. Do we know where? Not specifically. And we'd be guessing if we were trying to figure out how many were in the left-hand crescent and the right-hand crescent, and I don't think guessing is a good idea, so we're gonna be a little bit more methodical. Oh, and then we also have the wife circle, and she's got 32 people in her circle. I'm not putting that 28 inside the circle, because it's visually going to lead me to believe it's part of the left-hand section, which is a misconception. So the only time I put anything inside the circle is when I know specifically that it's only in this, only in that, or in the joint section. One of those three. So where do I go from here? <coughs> Holes, parts and pieces. There's 75 total, correct? Mm -hmm. How many have you clearly designated where they belong <coughs> inside the Venn diagram? Mm -hmm. Mine is the, ooh, wait a second, I'm not clearly decided, I haven't clearly decided where those 28 people are in that circle A yet. Mm -hmm. The only people I know for sure aren't part of any circle are the 17. So if we take the 17 that are outside of the circles, then doesn't that mean that we only have 58 people to clarify their position now? Well, that's a part. It's a part of the people that are inside one circle or the other. This 58 is A and B combined. It's the total number of people that are in A and B. I was kind of waiting for someone to ask me why I didn't just add those two together. Because if I added those two together, what would I come up with? And has that just contradicted that 58? So what that, that that's a way to do it. That is a way to be able to do it. If I add 28 and 32 and come up with 60, how come I'm coming up with more than when I take away the outside piece? Because, the inside because those are the insides that I've counted twice. But although that's a way to do it, that's not the way that I would end up doing it. If I know that there are 58 that are in A union, A union B, that means that they are inside one circle or the other. then that's another whole type of operation. If there are 58 total people inside one of those two circles, and I know that 28 of them are in this circle, is that a useful piece of information? What if I remove the entire circle H. I know there's 58 people in here somewhere. What happens if I take the 28 away from this? Do I know how many are left over? And do I also know where they have to be? 
it isolates the outside section. So the whole of the two circles pull away one circle completely, and it wouldn't make a difference if I started with circle A or circle B. Wouldn't it give me the same effect? So if I pull away all circle A from those 58 people, then I got 58 minus 28, which gives me 30. I know there are 30 people that know the husband only. They've never had the good fortune of meeting his new wife. Could I just as easily have removed circle B? If I would have removed circle B, wouldn't I have taken the 58 people that were in the two circles and took away the 32 that knew the Y? And wouldn't that leave me 26? So now look, I've accounted for 56 of the people that are inside the circles, haven't I? And don't I know that there were a total of 58? Does that allow me to find out the part that's in the middle then? So how many people there know both the husband and the wife? Yeah. Only two. Interesting winning. But it took that to be able to answer this question. You could, it would have been very difficult to find that value by playing trial and error. And by finding all the individual pieces, you got a built-in check. What do you mean a built-in check? 17 added to 32, excuse me, not 32, because 32 is not one of the pieces. 17 added to 26, added to two, added to 30, better account for all 75 people. I haven't lost anybody. No one slipped behind the cracks, and I don't come up with any, any extra party crashes. Two circle Venn diagrams are not difficult, but they do give us a chance to be able to kind of go crazy. And you have about 12 exercises of the last 25 or so exercises that are two circle Venn diagrams. 